All right, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the Beast of Wood podcast. I'm Devin. I'm here with Emma. Hello. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alexander. Oh, hi. Emma, you're you're horrible at this. <laughs> well, then. Um, okay. Why don't you tell her how you really feel? I don't, Way to start the podcast. I don't give much of these. Uh, Compliments. <laughs> CJ... Uh, he gives, he gives, he gives some, and so does, so does Alexander. Recommendations. Oh, I was going to say, you do give a lot of compliments. Yeah, I give heaps. But recommendations, yes. I, I personally don't give. I personally don't give. Why not? Because I've had a lot of, historically... A lot of bad responses. <laughs> it's already got a lot of bad responses from my recommendations. So I cease to give recommendations. <laughs> Emma hasn't learned her lesson. I just no- <laughs> clicked on to the fact you said I'm horrid at these and I take offence to that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm actually okay, pretty I've, good. I, wa- I watched a few shows on Emma's recommendations. Yes. And they've been quite good. Thank you, CJ. Yes. Someone I has agree. to make you feel good. I I think it's because you only you only watch the ones that we don't contest to like crazy levels because Emma's recommended since this <laughs> podcast has started like in the tens of things to watch. Yeah. And you've watched a, you've watched a few things Siege. So Okay, I've watched I've watched Tiger King. Yes. Yes. Wait, I brought Tiger um, King to only, the table. Only, Thank uh, you very much. Only only murders <laughs> in the building. <laughs> yep. We'll give you that one. The um the Joe one? Yes. Yes. Sixty days in. I've watched Love That's this. It. There's there's probably more. Just can't <laughs> there's just probably there's probably just more. Can't, there's can't, probably can't more. Can't remember. You there know, off the top more. of your head it gets a bit tricky to yeah, remember. Yeah, it is, you're right. It is yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. hard. <laughs> it, it is. Um uh, I, I I know Alexander's recommendations, like you know, Mr. Um, you know. Talk of the movie too much. <laughs> I what? look. Shang-Chi. I'm, I, I need to hear it back. Mr. I need to Mr. hear it back Oversil- because I don't. I need to hear it back because I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure I didn't recommend Shang Chi. I'm pretty sure I just told you what I thought of the film. Yes, which he is told two you what different he things. Told. Yeah, he told you it wasn't a recommendation. He said we said how was it? He said it was really good. I because no, that's what one of I made. Best sh- Marvel movies I've ever watched. Hmm? Yeah. Oh. That's my opinion, dude. That's not a recommendation. They're yeah, two but very he, different things. He hasn't watched that many Marvel movies. And I also said that. Well, <laughs> yeah, so in context... Well... <laughs> okay, so in context, what would you actually like? He Elvis, he still oversold it. Okay, so compared to the other Marvel movies, where would you like place it? it, I'm not- it it's a setup. It's a setup movie. It's a setup. It's an introduction, yeah. Shang Chi introduction plus to a, a setup. It's just introduce the character. Yeah, oh. it's to introduce all the characters in that Shang Chi world. Yeah, and um, all the things that will influence Shang Chi as a superhero, and then it's a setup for how he's going to interact with the Marvel Doctor universe. Strange. Oh, yeah. okay. So there's more to come. I think it's oh, more, yeah, yeah I, I think it's like a setup for Doctor Strange. In in comparison. In comparison to other setup movies, uh, character setup movies in the Marvel, um, I think I think uh, Main Sage and anticipation was too much. We were anticipating yes. and the build up and like everyone got to see it and there was a lot of hype on social media and like CJ when he messages me continuously saying that we're gonna watch it, you know he's. He's hyped to see this freaking movie. He's pumped. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And then we got there and he was jumping around to get into the cinemas. And when we got in, I think all that energy dissipated and just he, just, he was waiting. He was waiting for the like, a do again. You know what I mean? He was waiting for like some sort of um, Dragon Ball Z. Like the like, best, <laughs> yeah, was like, the best scene word? was the bus. The bus was the best scene. The, at the beginning? That yes. was a good scene. Yeah, I didn't. I think the thing... The thing with Shang Chi for me that stood that stood different was the fact that it didn't. This is sound silly, but it didn't feel like a superhero film. Like no, it didn't. the only time it felt superhero was Rings, but they're barely in the film. Really, like of the majority of the film, the Rings aren't really in it that much. Mm. 
Yeah. So that's why I well, think but- I enjoyed it more because I I didn't feel like I was watching a superhero film. Yeah. Yeah. But the funny thing is, er- I saw a week earlier another bus fight scene, which I thought was funnier and better. What speed? Sandra Bullock and um. No, the bus. <laughs> no, no, the the bus. The bus fight scene in Nobody is hilarious. Okay, CJ. So who else is in Speed? I don't Keanu? know. I don't know if I watched um, Nobody when I was in a bad mood, but I started watching it, and I went, "This yeah. is a poor man's John Wick." It is. Is a poor man's John Wick. It is. And so I had to watch John Wick to rinse myself of Nobody. I've never seen what's Nobody. I actually. I actually enjoyed it because it was a poor man's version of John Wick. Mm. 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 How much mm. for the car? Everybody has a <laughs> <Okay>. price. <laughs> <laughs> I only know that because no, no. <laughs> Death Watch. You, you, you know, know how, because you it's know like how, the fifth time I've played it this this month. <laughs> you, you know how John Wick he, he goes to town on these guys because of his dog. Yeah, yeah. Nobody. It's over the, the kitty bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I just don't know. I didn't, I didn't have the same panache. Oh. The, he goes to war with a criminal organization over a Hello Kitty bracelet. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> is oh, real? it's a comedy. I didn't realize it was a comedy. This, I this not. Film. What? Nobody. Look it up. L- check it out. I'm not going to overhype it. <laughs> no, it's no, not, no, it's no. nothing to overhype. <laughs> it, it, it is a poor man's version of John Wick. A really poor man's version. Did you like John it's Wick? Like John Wick. Alexander. Yes, I... <laughs> I need to watch it again because I've watched... I've watched it, the first one. There's more, multiple, isn't there? Th- uh, four. Yes, there's, three. There's so four, I've watched four, the four, first three. one. Yeah. I watched the first one and I know I've watched it. And the way everyone talks about it, I feel like I didn't watch the same film because I don't remember having any feeling about it. Which means I didn't necessarily dislike it, but I don't remember thinking, oh, that was really good. So I think I need to watch it again. This movie... Can I ask? This movie is not really good. The guy I compare it to Equalizer 2. But a bit funnier. Nobody... Yeah. In John Wick, the guy that kills his dog, is he the guy from Game of Thrones? Yes. I thought Theodore. so. Is it Theodore? Yes. He was speaking Russian or something. I was like, hmm. But Game of Thrones, he wasn't speaking Russian. I know. That's why I was like, hmm. I didn't know he could speak <coughs> another language. What? Play a lot of the role. Why? Well, wait, I was wait, like, is he, that, is he that nationality wait, wait, can I, can or I has he learned it for the can role? Can I ask your logic for that? So Go. you watch Game of Thrones mm. and it's in the Viking area, which is made up, and then he's speaking Russian and you couldn't... I don't know if it's Russian. No, it's Russian, but oh. the link between you thinking, how could he speak another language in Game of Thrones? What? Yeah, show me the link between No, them. okay. I go, oh, he looks, I go, he looks like that. Dude from Game of Thrones, but mm. then he spoke Russian in John Wick, and I was like, "Huh, I don't know if that is the guy because I'm, that Theodore in Game of Thrones, I can't envisage him speaking <laughs> <laughs> Russian, <laughs> not as the character, but just you know." Well, yeah. Anyway, but it is okay. There you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> the metaverse. Are you, gonna go, the metaverse. are you going to go? Are you going to go head first into this world, the metaverse? The, What's the metaverse? The, the Facebook metaverse. Um, is it? I thought there was someone else creating a metaverse, and then Facebook was just like, "I want to." They want to be the pioneers no. of metaverse, or was it Facebook? No. So the met the metaverse was coined in a book from like the eighties or something. But yeah, that's it's, right. It's it's Facebook at the. The pioneers of the met. Uh, supposedly, the idea is Facebook. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg wants to create a metaverse. Uh, what? What is so, so metaverse? What, what is a metaverse? So metaverse is essentially player one. Have has everyone watched player one? Re- no. Nope. Ready player one. No, Ready player I one. Heard of it, but I've not watched. I it. haven't watched it. <sighs> so free guy. I can't be bothered. Do you watch? Do you remember free guy? Yeah. 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 It, 
is metaverse like that, Alexander? Like the free guy? People just, but like everyone is a player in there. Yeah, see, I've not seen Free Guy, but yeah, it's it, things like virtual avatars and you engage in that virtual world instead. It's like you buy things in there and you engage with people in there. and Because if you think about Facebook, they have Oculus. Which is and the, the virtual reality. Right, goggles, right. headset. Plus they I have the social networking. Yeah. Plus they have the communications, WhatsApp. So they're already, they're creating a non-virtual metaverse already. Like, you can engage entirely with people through Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, without ever having to meet them in person. That's crazy. The only thing you can't really do is shop because you need the physical world. But if they use the virtual side of Oculus and you buy things to use in that virtual world, then they can incorporate shopping there as well. Head on. So you can so buy like your groceries in the virtual world, but would you really get the groceries or you wouldn't get the groceries? No, as in like... In-app purchases. Not, not talking about necessities for survival, but talking about... <coughs> like, <coughs> Sorry. If you buy things for entertainment purposes, but you're spending your time of leisure inside the virtual world, you'd buy things for the virtual world. So, like, if you you're playing a game, it's like buying an in-app purchase for that game to make it better, basically. Buying clothes for your character or whatever like that. They already, they already did that, that in COD. But it goes beyond, it'll go beyond, because if you think, if you're, if you're spending your time in the virtual world, you won't need the things that you buy for your home. Like, things you'd typically buy for your home, you'd buy for your virtual home, because that's where you'd be spending your time. Wait, you have a virtual home? Yeah, this is what the well, metaverse is. It's a. Can you watch TV on your virtual home? No, as in, like, you wouldn't necessarily have like a literal home because why? If you're in, you wouldn't go home, would you? If you're in a virtual world, like, you go and do things. Like you could go and explore Machu Picchu or a uh, Jupiter version of Machu Picchu. Like you know what I mean? Like, so are you go and do anything? And it's not your face, it's an avatar, is it? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you could create yourself. I, I, this is all, cons- like, we're just making up the concept right now. This isn't a defined... Yeah, it's not. It's it's People are making the rules up now. <laughs> Can we watch <laughs> yeah. a, a short video of what they think it might look like? Um, I'm trying to look at it, but keep talking about the metaverse. I'll keep looking. So... Can you just basically be friends with anyone? It's just it's kind of like being in a game, right? An online with where you're where there's others online too. Is that kind of right? But you're not playing so the game. You're do just you socializing. know you know Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. And you know Grand yes. Theft Auto has an online yes. thing. No. If you know what Grand Theft Auto is, Emma, to, oh, for you your, your doll, for your benefit. Think of playing Grand Theft Auto, but all the little characters who are running around, imagine they're other people. And you yeah. just do whatever you want. Um, this was wanna, like. Do you want to hear some of this? Yes, go. By now, you've probably heard it about a hundred times. And usually, this is about games, which apply NFT technology to tokenize in game property. But it goes far beyond this. This could impact everyone who uses the internet, which is basically everyone. The all caps metaverse seems to be a trendy thing to talk about right now, but there's an issue. Very few sources explain what this actually is or what it's going to mean for the kind of world that we could be living in in just under a decade. Because the metaverse, if or when it becomes mainstream, is more than just watching a Travis Scott concert inside of Fortnite. Bigger than buying <laughs> NFT land for more than the price of real land. What? So what is the metaverse? In an what? interview with Bankless, Raul Paul describes the metaverse in very real terms. The metaverse is where we live a larger percentage of our life in the digital world than we do in the physical world. No. He speaks about how we communicate with each other through digital spaces like Zoom, or how quickly and easy it is to send money to other people. He implies that most of what we do in the digital space constitutes some part of the metaverse. Raul makes the now somewhat tired reference to Ready Player One by saying that the metaverse isn't just a fully Genius. immersive gaming experience. More than that, it's the digitization of everything, where everything we do 
makes just as much, if not more, of an impact on our digital lives as it does to our physical lives. David Hoffman later wrote an article titled, The Metaverse Emerges, where he says metaverses would arise out of a shared registry of what he calls a single source of truth for all known objects in the digital world slash universe. This is- All right. Is that, wow. does, does that clear I that up more or? I'm def I have so many questions I'm, so I'm gonna be Googling game. later. That's not a game, Siege. That's what I, I think the guy is saying. It's more than a game. It's more than seeing like um, concerts on, in digital form. It's, it's gonna be a, a part of life. I think that's essentially what he's saying. Yeah. And the it problem, will be, even biggest, if we're, even the if The biggest like problem I see with this is that if it's created, it's inevitable. And by that, I mean that the biggest draw for something like that is people being dissatisfied with their real life, which Facebook and Instagram and all these social media apps are currently preparing people like that's what they make people feel already they make people feel like others lives are way more exciting than mine i don't have access to all these things that i see other people doing let me go in if there was now this place they could escape to where they could access these things people would immediately do it yeah so and once once you have enough of a user base on it then you have fomo of everyone who's not on it even yeah. if they enjoy their life so then you just bring in masses of people. That's what I was going to say. And Even though I'm a bit weary, I'd jump on and be like, hmm, what's this all about? What is everyone at work talking about? What are the kids doing? Blah, 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 blah. And then you'd hop on, you'd make your own, you know, whatever it is, avatar, world. Do you, do you remember that, yeah. um, do you remember that uh, black, um, black movie? No, not black movie. What's black that? Mirror. Black, black Mirror. Mirror. <laughs> Black movie. Black movie. <laughs> Black Mirror. I was and, saying, uh, <laughs> wow, where was this conversation going? <laughs> and uh, remember that episode where they were on the bicycles and they were pedaling so they could get oh, points yeah. on the social media thing? Mm -hmm. And then, like, they people would save money so they could um, have a chance to become a superstar? I don't know if I saw that one. You were right next and to the, me. The, mm. the Black guy. Um, I'm trying to remember which one was. Uh, he's he's been in other things. So I can't remember. I can't remember which black guy it was. If I'm honest, I just remember thinking, "Oh yeah, he's in this." Yeah. Um, and he ends up like becoming. He saves up, becoming the super son, and he kills. What? No, he 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 saves he saves up all his money, and then he buys a ticket for a girl that he likes. But doesn't he end up killing, or does he end up getting killed? No, he ends up killing he at the end. End killing who? Yeah, yeah. In real life. Yeah, it's you got to watch it. Black Mirror. It's a it's a crazy. Oh, it's God. a whole. Hmm. <laughs> the metaverse. Who would your avatar? So be? they said it's within a decade. So this thing's going to take that long to set up, or within a decade that every, most people will be using it. That's questions. I don't know. That's a question we can't answer. <laughs> hey, uh, just, 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 uh, like a side note. How do you guys live in the land of grey? And what I mean what by that, I live in the land of grey. All right. So what I mean by that is when you have conversations with people or you converse with the boss or whoever, right? Do you <laughs> do you know the uh answer or do you not know the answer and you're you live in this area of like not knowing what the conversation <laughs> was about? Wait, what? I know, I know exactly okay. what so, you're yeah. saying. All right. So when I when I talk to someone, right? When I talk to oh, someone, oh, we all know Okay, we all know who you're talking about because she's laughing her head off at the behind you. No, no, I'm not talking about Emma. I'm just saying that if I talk to you, f for instance, CJ, I don't talk to you in code. I say to you, um, what are you doing today? Right? I'm not, there's nothing subtle about yes. me. I, I, I'm very direct. I go, did you do something? Did you cheat? 
Like, that's me trying to find out an answer, right? For did Emma, I cheat? Yeah, yeah. Like, let's say you cheated, right? And I know you cheated. I go, did you cheat? And then CJ would give me a yes or no answer, right? Emma would be Why would more... I cheat? What am I cheating on? <laughs> well, you've got a few fetishes. Emma's more subtle in the way she approaches this situation. She'd be like, oh, CJ, what were you doing um, on Friday night um, at, like, you know, were you hanging out or um, were you were you just at home chilling? What'd you have for dinner? What would you, like, she'd, it, like, it, she'd be more... Um, not direct, there'd be indirect questions to finding out um, what the answer, the answer she's looking for. And then she lives in this okay. grey world. So it's not neither black or white, it's grey because she, no, the person doesn't have to answer because there's no direct question. <laughs> and Emma's frustrated because she doesn't get the answer she wants. <laughs> what question do you want to ask, Emma? No, I actually have no questions. He's talking about a conversation or I didn't know whether I was supposed to go into work or not because <laughs> no one would give me a straight answer. <laughs> Did and you I, ask, am I supposed to come into work or not? He said, well, why don't you just say, am I in tomorrow? Or <laughs> How do I... Wait. I'm I'm more intrigued because you said no one would give you the straight answer. So that makes it sound like you spoke to multiple people. I did speak to multiple people. had multiple conversations people. and still didn't know. What were you talking about in these conversations to not know? Oh my gosh, you don't understand. Why do you why didn't you ask someone? What time do we start tomorrow? <laughs> you guys don't realize. I was, a lo- <laughs> I was wait. She goes um, she, uh, she it was read, a few days. She worth read of- the message out to me, right? And then I and I and she goes, "What would you answer if I read uh, if I wrote you this message?" I'd be like, "Okay." And she's like, "What do you mean? You didn't answer the question." I go, "You didn't no, ask I one." I asked. I you didn't ask a question. You told me all the facts of what was happening, and I, there was no question at the end. I'd be like, "Okay, thank you, Emma. <laughs> thank you very much for the update." <laughs> what did you say? So I said... I just don't know why she just didn't ask. I think... Actually, I'll just put music over this part. Go. Did you understand that? No, but go on. So he, so the person said. I read it and I was like, "So am I coming in on that day or not?" <laughs> <laughs> and then I couldn't re-ask because I've already asked. And then what, I, the Thursday one. <laughs> no, no for the next Monday. Week. I wanted to know, am I coming in on Monday? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, yeah. Did you have to go in? Yes, yeah, she had to go in. In the end, it all changed. I asked somebody else. I Dev said, "Why didn't you just say, are you go- am I coming in?'" So I reached out to the fourth yeah. person, and then I said, "Hey, how oh, did you did you just say the fourth person?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> wait, because the okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> I just want to confirm. You said the fourth person, correct? Yes, but that's only because the others weren't like. How many people <laughs> did you message to find out if you're working four, on Monday? Four. But that's because the other two were like my colleagues and they didn't know either because they were confused too. So I literally did they, just did said... Did they not know or did they, just, did they find the situation funny? No, we they just didn't know. So I've watched, um, I watched a lot of people because I have to deal with customers and I've watched a lot of my peers and how they address customers when we're about to do some work in the street and they, they come, up to the, come up to the door, ring the doorbell, they go, hello, sir, how's your day, All right? They they proceed to say, um, uh, unfortunately, due to uns, uh, unforeseen circumstances, we're we're gonna have to disconnect your uh, electricity, um, and uh, it's it might impact you for a couple of hours, and then we'll try to reconnect you as soon as possible. Right? It's very it's very you know mm. personable. It's mm. very. I cut the I cut the fat. 
I cut the fat, and it's probably too much fat. I probably cut too much meat off, right? Because uh, I knock on the door and I say, uh, uh, they ah, answer. Power's they, out, bitches! Well, they say, hello, and I go, <laughs> power's off in 10 minutes, and I walk away. So oh! I th- maybe mine's a bit too short, <laughs> but I, I feel like they get the message. <laughs> I feel like they get the message. I go, it's enough time to go 10 minutes. Can I get a tea? Can I bake some toast? But, like, yeah. Mine's... Mine, it's not unpleasant. Yours is rude. It's not so unpleasant. Deb and I are on the complete opposite spectrum. Mm. That is kind of rude, mate. Mm. Yeah. You have to say, uh, hi, hi, sir, sorry sorry to let you know, mate. I'm going to have to turn your power off um, in 10 minutes. Mm. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. You reckon I should work on it, Siege? Give me, give me something I should... I- I th- I don't I, I find it you, hard to believe. You, 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 you sound like you're giving you had pleasure in turning their power off. Because usually, Dev, mm, I did. You don't like talking to people that you don't know. That's why it's short as well. Well, because I, then I but I I've seen you be more polite to people you don't know, like. Oh, okay, okay, like more meek and mild, but you're being quite assertive and direct. I mean, do they know you're there to do work? Uh, yes. So they've been notified uh, before. I much prefer your approach then. Yeah. Because one of one of the most now, especially especially now, because I work from home, one of the most annoying things is people who have to come and do work, and then they have full on conversations with you, and it takes five or ten minutes, and you're like, you could have told me all of that in ten seconds. Yeah. There was no need for all the like, I'm doing stuff. Stop yeah. Oh, that's my like my pest but control it, guy. But it's, but it's having a good nap, still not he? polite. Yeah. But it, but that's what like polite, being polite for politeness sake is is pointless to me. Like it's in dressing all that information up nicely, just so they don't feel weird that you've told them it. But you're still telling them the exact same thing. It's just I don't know. To me, it's just pointless. So I'll, gi- I'll give you an yeah. example. Yeah. From like my job, where. Because we work remote, it's not this like like CJ's situation. He says he talks to his employees. If I am in the office and I want help from someone, I could be like, "Oh, hey, mate, how's it going? Nicety, ask yeah. a question." But people still do that online, which is annoying as hell because someone hits you up with, "Hey, how's it going?" And you're like, "Oh, they're gonna ask me a question," mm. but they, but they don't respond. ask yeah. you the question until you've responded. Yeah. Reply. So then, the that side of it is less annoying. The side of it that's annoying for me is if that's how we have to engage, I have to do it to them. But the problem is, I, I message them, I like chat, chat them, hey, how's it going? It might take them 10 minutes to respond to that. I then have to write them again to actually ask the question I want to ask, which might take them another 10 minutes to respond to. So it's like, I've wasted so much time trying to get the answer to a question. I, I'm just actually because more I have direct in that way. I'll say, hey, how are you? Hope you're okay. By the way, have a quick question, blah, 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 blah. And then I do my question all in one. But then Did it's it point I do the same thing. Hey, how's I do- it? Like, then it's just... What, no, no. You're saying it for the pleasantry. But right. why? What's the point? Then, what is the point? Polite. Like, but you're not being <laughs> be polite. polite. Like, being polite is you being are. polite. Saying something nice so that you can say what you really want to say is not being polite. That's being coy. Like, this is what right. I mean. It's so stupid. Like, it's it doesn't make any sense. I reached out to. I reached out to a, a, that's joy, a friend man. of that's mine. That's joy. Joy. I reached out to my friend yesterday. I haven't seen her in a few months because I don't work there anymore. I said, hey, how are you, hon? Hope everything's going well. I have a quick question, blah, blah, blah. That's but not you me don't being quite, But if you didn't have that question, you wouldn't have said anything to them. So you don't actually care. Like, that's what I mean. You're, you're doing it just so you can ask a question. Like, no. you, you, if the question was yes. there, you'd have no intention of talking to that person. Yep. Otherwise, you would have already talked to them. Why? Yeah. Why have you not reached out to them for a couple? Occasionally, of Occasionally, sometimes. Care about them? But when it, they know, pop but... into your head, <laughs> that's then... so true. <laughs> because right, there's no way I'm messaging Alexander or CJ. I'm going, hey babe, how you going? Rah, rah. It's the... I do to my friends. It's straight questions with them. It's straight questions. Hey, do... hey boys, hey, dude, if, upload if you now. If you call me babe, me and you get issue. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if yeah. you're talking with the person constantly, you're never going, hey boys. 
Rah, 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 because you're in constant. It's like a conversation hasn't ended with them. If it's, it's just constant, a, it's but the if next question. If it's been question. over a week, then you then you ask how they are. No, like never. Like, then you I send messages. I send messages to, to to guys at work that I've just spoken to, saying, "Hey, mate, quick question. Um, oh, that's different. Do you though. have these laptops? Yeah, that's I fine. Can't find me. But that's no. But that's what that's what I would prefer if that was how it went. Like, hey, mate, I've got a question. Blah, blah, blah. But you can't. You have to say like, "How's it going? How you doing? How's your morning?" Yeah, Oops, you only, to, only if it's been a little, not, like maybe a week or two or three. I, I don't ask four. that. I just say, "Hey, <coughs> hi, the name." Um, you know, <laughs> uh, that's it. And then put the, put the question in. I just put right, hi first. That's what I'm. I'm. There's nothing wrong with that. Siege. Like I agree. That's how it should be. But I'm saying the niceties oh. wrapped around the questions. I, are I just do the a niceties. waste of time. They're a waste of everybody's time in that scenario. Well, not really. Do you know what upsets me? You just have to respond going, going yeah, good, thanks. Hope you were well too. So in answer to your question, doesn't take long, 10 seconds, there you go. It's a bit hard for me because I'm not nice. Anyway, Sage, what were you saying? <laughs> what annoys me is when people keep sending like, thank you at, right at the end of the email chain. <laughs> <laughs> Kind regards every time. <laughs> no, no, That's just no, it starts just off as you. kind regards, but That's then me. after you've already done two kind regards, you can switch to thanks. No, 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 no. Like, like they'll have like a task. Oh, we need this done, this done, this done, and I'll send them. A, and I'll send them a message. Oh, I, I, I've already completed it. It's all good. It's done. Right, basically, and then they reply back. Thank you. Oh, you don't like the reply? Like, Thank you. I get heaps of them a day. And at a certain stage, my email's just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Leave yeah. me alone. So, <laughs> emails yeah, yeah. are another one. Why do we talk in emails differently to how we would talk to people anywhere else? Like, there is a, there's an email style of communication that is so stupid. I know. It like, is so is, stupid. Uh, what is the whole point? Why do it's we. It's formal and it's just, because it's there, it's a chain and it can be used and called upon. It doesn't matter. Yeah, any, it's, any it's, what do you mean? Any interaction can be that's written can be used to call upon. If yeah. I chat, if I I am you, I am. Someone can pull that up. It's no different. Yeah, to, but you're to not a text. generally yeah. emailing your friends, are you? You're sort of emailing like at work, so it's different. No, but if you would email your, but you're not colleague, IMing your friends either. Would you? Would you IM your colleague the same way? Oh, if I if I email my girlfriends at work, it'll just be how I would talk to them on a text message. So what's the difference? But if I'm emailing my boss or like a, Do you text someone your boss? in a different department, then I would be more formal. <laughs> Do you text your, like, for example, if you're going to text your boss, would you say, dear boss, these are my things I need to say. Kind regards, <laughs> Emma. Like, first of all, kind regards, <laughs> signing off who it's from. It's in the fucking email. Like, it's in your email name. I, Wait, you know who I... it's coming from. Right. <laughs> so, you guys are constantly it's called, on the It's email. called email etiquette, I think. You guys are... You, you got this email it's etiquette, email right? email etiquette. So, Dave, our company has um, all of a sudden gone into this digital thing. So, these tradesmen that we... We don't use email. We don't use emails, right? All of a sudden, they're like, we want less talking between managers and stuff, and we'll send you the information over the internet. It'll be on your iPad. You'll have your email. You have all these instructions in the iPad, right? I get these instructions <laughs> on an email, and I look at it. I go, I go, shit, I've got to reply because I don't know what the hell's going on, right? Oh. So I start going. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I didn't get a phone call. Well, like, Siege, what are you I, I was emails? so close to like calling bosses. At, what the hell's? Going? Anyways, I, I I get my draft. I set my draft up. I go to whom it may concern. <laughs> 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 I don't know what to do. Right? So I go. I go. Um, I go, uh, Mister. Um, Mister Manager. Right? And I start <laughs> writing. I start putting point forms of my questions to the previous email. And yeah, like, I do point form questions. But, but this is unnecessary okay. because just because it's in an yeah. email, what Alexander is saying, just because it's in an email, I start being all formal. But like, if I was talking on the phone to my boss, I'd be like, hey man, like, I don't understand what this, this, and this mean. But in the email, I've got point forms. <laughs> and at the end, I go, I didn't put kind regards. I go, thanks, Ernest. And I'm like, oh man, there's no way I'd be like on the phone, yeah, yeah, Dave, yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Ernest. Bye. I'm not saying that kind of stuff. <laughs> You know what I mean? But because it's an email, 
I've got all of a sudden right in a okay. certain way. Even when I text, I go, Ernie. "Hey, man, that's my that's what how I reply to my manager." Hey, but Mr. Manager <laughs> on the email, <laughs> Mr. Manager, <laughs> Ernie, Yo. I I write on a majority of my emails. In my reply, my usually starts with "Thank you for your email." Wow. Yeah. Well, I'll just say oh. in reference to our dis- previous discussion or <laughs> something like, like that. I, you know, I, yeah. I understand if it's if it's something that you know you need an audit trail of. Mm. Like if you if you know that you're going to pull this up and this is important and it's it's got, it needs to be a formal communication because it might be in a judiciary hearing or it might be something you use for. So I get that. But if you're just having a community, like, because people use email like it's an IM, like to just send information to clarify yeah. things or like doing I, that with I, email I, etiquette I is pointless. It, I think it depends on who you are talking to. Mm. If I'm talking to a member of staff, I'll be like, hey, mate, can you just do this, do this, and do this? Right. But when it's someone higher up, yeah. It becomes a lot more formal. But also when it's someone higher up you or you you're in a new work environment, you sort of gauge how they send their emails too. Email, yeah. So if they're quite informal, then I'm I'm I don't do my kind regards or anything yeah. like that. Or I might just put M. I start lo- but I start loosening up. Yeah. But especially the first few, you've got to be a bit on that formal edge, you know? Is there still room for a gentleman? Where? In like in society now. You know, there's always room for a gentleman, but it's hard to like it's, it's harder to be a gentleman because you got a lot of women who are bitches. Like I can open my own door. It's not harder to be a gentleman. I think that. No, is is there room still to be a gentleman? Yeah. Because I'm usually quite polite to everyone. And do people negatively react to you being polite? Weird. Like, I try to let all the ladies out of the lift first and all that. Yeah. And sometimes I get like, and I get like, looks like, oh, what a wanker. Do you? But do yeah, you? Fine. Yeah. These are, these are the types of things I only hear on the internet. I've never actually seen in real life anyone react like this. Like, if you're just being polite or nice or... No, 90% of the... 99% of the time, it's, you're fine. It's funny you, you only always get that one. You get that, you get that one person that, like, you know, burnt her bra in the 50s. <laughs> no. No. Is... Uh... Do you still get the same? Like, what? What? what the, define a gentleman. What's a gentleman now? Just a normal person. Well, that's that's a bit open ended. What's normal? What? What is it to be a gentleman? Like, what? 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 Ernie, if you have to ask, you'll never know. To be in, so to, to me, to be a gentleman is to not be a self-involved male. Well, As in, you have awareness of the fact that not everyone around you is also a male. So the way you communicate with people is considerate of the fact that other people have different perspectives and lives. By other people, I mean women. Like, that's all being a gentleman ever really is. Being it's more not treating, considerate. It's not treating women like your mates. By like your male mates, but again, like this is why I say it's highly dependent on who you like. For example, how you're talking about tradies, yeah, that's not normal. Like that's something that's something that through school and stuff people pretend is like the normal male thing, but it's really not that normal. If you think about the expanse of different types of males in society. That's a minority. Like, just like there's loads of different minorities. Like, a geek male is a minority. Any type of male is a minority male. Most males aren't like any type of male. Any male is not like any type of male. Any, no, any type of male. 
like if you could type them, mm. like a type of mail, like a, a a chauvinistic mail, a geeky mail, a whatever, like a if you can type them, then it's not normal. Because you're characterizing the things that aren't normal about them. That's why. Any mail that's that how you're able type. to type them. Like if you're if for example, if you're a nerdy if you're a nerdy male I don't get it. The reason that you can type that person as a nerdy male is because the, th- the characteristics you align with a nerd are not normal characteristics. That's why they got a name. Anything normal doesn't have a name. Oh, now I get it. So are you saying, but isn't everyone a, wouldn't everyone be a type then? There are things about you that have a type, but that doesn't mean you as a person are a type. If you get what I mean. So like, you can have, like, there are characteristics about CJ that are nerdy, but I wouldn't call him, like, he's he's not a full-on nerd, though. Like, he that he doesn't make his life about those things. Some people make their lives about their type. Like, they're sporty people. Like, I was a sporty person, but my life wasn't about sport. Like, mm. I didn't hang out with athletes. And how dare I didn't... you call me nerdy? <laughs> You see, I'm, but there are things like there are things about CJ that are nerdy. Like you can tell me, I've conversations. There are certain things, but he doesn't make his life about those things. So I wouldn't call him a nerd. But there are people, there are men who are chauvinist, but they make their life about being that type of man. Like I'm a masculine man. This is the way I am. You can't. I I will purposely avoid doing things that make me look like I'm not that type of person. Uh, Anyone who is not that type of man is a gentleman. Hmm. I would say. So, so we we are all gentlemen. Yeah. So, Besides Ernest. So no, Emma, Deb, we Deb, just... Deb, Deb, Deb's a gentleman. Because I just asked these I, guys. If there was an old lady on the street w- wobbling around with her bags, he'd, he'd definitely lend a hand. In, yeah, of course. You take the bags and run off. <laughs> it's free free groceries. <laughs> okay, I'll ring you up, Ems. Don't worry about going to Coles. I got the I got the I got it already. So I is there the, is there uh, room uh, did, did, for uh for gentlemen in in today's society? Of course, hundred percent, absolutely. Speaking <laughs> of, you're gonna can expand I, on. Can that? I share something oh. with you as well? Yeah, I didn't That's know in, what you guys were talking vein about. Of conversation. This came up yesterday on on Twitter, and it's very much about the extent of what what you could con- consider a gentlemanly act. I don't think there's many women that would not like a gentleman, to be honest. Well, ac- a- a- Even- according to David Chappelle, Twitter's not a weird place, so he gives a shit. Even like rough around the edge guys, if they still have gentlemanliness about them or treat their woman, act like a gentleman around their woman or their friends or their family or whatever, that's winning, you know? I just wonder how many uh, men got hurt um, in the process, right? And how many just haven't recovered. And then they'll never ever be like they were. They but were, you're talking about um, like romantically. But, but, but. Her. No, no, no I'm talking about you, you can, yeah, like being nice to everyone is not like um trying to be nice to people is not like you you can't you don't do it because you got hurt in the past. I don't think chivalry is dead. Like I appreciate that, you know. So don't don't need to read it. Just just play. So real quick, I just want to um talk to the guys real fast. I got these flowers like three days ago and um, the person who gave them to me just gave them like this. No vase, no water, no flower food, just this. (laughs) All I'm really saying is, you know, although the gesture is very nice and I appreciate it, no shade at all because the person who gave them to me gave them from his heart, I'm sure. Or at least I would hope so, right? But it just seems like a little half-assed, you know? Um, 
bring the vase, guys. Just simply bring the vase. Please do. Because when you do it like this, these flowers have been dying in my house on the floor. I don't know if you can see, but they're wilting. Look, this one, he's so sad. He is, this one, oh, take your head up. Yeah, hang on. I'm taking him to work because I have a vase at work and I just remembered today. Really, the flowers have just been Okay, I take issue with this away chick. on my living room floor. And, and, so and, she wants you know, every guy that buys her flowers to buy a new vase and carry many, around a fragile vase. Do you, do you want me to finish this in case there's the ending? Ending's with different? water. It started again. Oh, it's still got like 40 Is this the same? Does this continue on, uh, Alexander, yeah. or is there a twist at the end? It continues. Um, it's just her saying her piece. Oh, okay. I disagree. I would absolutely love a bunch of flowers. If she's that conscious about her flowers not dying, well, she should have her own what vase nice. at home. Do you know what I mean? I, if, if I kept buying vases with flowers, um, end of it, she's going to have an apartment exactly. of vases. Exactly. Where would you keep them all? Uh, and the flower food and everything. Usually, typically, a bunch of flowers. What's flower food? It's just like a sachet that's usually included in... In yeah, the she says it she. It comes up on the screen. You can't see because it's small, but it does say that actually she was wrong. It did come with flower food. Like yeah, usually it always does, and yeah. most yeah. most bouquets nowadays anyway they come with a little yeah. uh, test tube flower food, test yeah. tube of water for each stem or something like that just to keep them moist. And uh, I don't know. Obviously, she doesn't I mean, have a vase <laughs> at home, but if it's that much of an issue, you'd think she would. So I, pre- I would like- appreciate the gesture. There's Why not just put in a says. cup of water for the time being? That's the thing. There's things that she says where you're like, huh? Because she says, what else does she say? It didn't come with a vase. What else didn't it come with? Water. Water. Like, like what? Like, you don't like, have water is... at home? Like, why does, why does to... the person need to bring you water? <laughs> How are you supposed to like drive the the vase with the flowers and the water, like <laughs> strap it down so it doesn't? <laughs> and she said, "Did you hear where she said they've been for three days in her on house? Floor. In that <laughs> she just left it in there. She left it on her living room floor. <laughs> floor. That's, that's the flowers are pretty good. Why like three days on the floor? But how can she complain?" about the fact that she can't take care of these flowers when she cares about them as enough to put them on her living room floor for three days. <laughs> like, not she on a counter, not in, the very in a glass, least, not, like, yeah. in the sink with water. Oh, like, in the sink with water. She was that <laughs> oh, my concerned. gosh, everyone is very upset. So, like, I like, I like how she... Uh, <laughs> everyone's very emotionally involved. So, I like how she started uh, Do you know the why? conversation. I think we've all met this... I think we've all met a person like this in the past. She... Well, she said, look, no shade. But it was totally shade. No shade. And I was like, geez, that tree's okay, getting bigger. If you, jeez. If you, if, you ha- if you have to say no shade, yeah, there's shade. They're 100%. Especially when she's like... Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm on her side. I agree. The guy should have um, pro- uh, provided a vase full of water and gave it to her. So when she gets in the car, it goes everywhere. What's the comments? Yeah. Everyone, um, is, everyone is shitting on her saying like... Yeah, this is a good way to let people know you've never been given flowers before. <laughs> like, yeah, because you've not got a vase at home. <laughs> you have one. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, do you want to hear the rest of it? Let's. I'm gonna vase here. Yeah, put it on. It's Let's just nice when you chair. go the extra mile. You know, when you do things like that, you buy flowers. Just go the extra mile. It doesn't hurt. I promise. It it probably feels good. You know, if, if you think about it, if you really think about it, it probably feels good. And we, we all like when things feel good now, don't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not telling you how to live your life, of course, you know, because some women, they don't mind if you just buy them a, a plastic bag full of flowers. They don't, they don't mind. <laughs> a plastic but bag? Mind. Just go the extra mile. Oh, fuck. Please. You know, <laughs> so you just... your mother would be proud. What the? I'm, I trust me on this. She's gonna be proud of you. <laughs> uh, all right, proceed. <laughs> proceed to shit. I love how she's so confident that she's like laughing, you know, the whole uh, patronizing laugh. 
because she's that confident. Yeah. Was there, when there, was there anyone that you saw that agreed with her, Zans? Um, I think I saw one comment of somewhat agreement. Oh, someone said, and the dumbass had her flowers on the floor for three days. <laughs> <laughs> it, feels, it reminds me of that old school uh, English English um, you got flowers luxury <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah 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 you got a rock you got a can't rock believe how... luxury she, she's probably found a very nice guy mm. right that's probably treating her well and she yeah she's a bitch <laughs> the thing is it's that, that guy. it's that level of in, of entitlement the like yeah. what in the thing with entitlement right is you get entitlement from somewhere like you see something or exposed to something or someone teaches you something that makes you think oh that's how it's supposed to be like at what point did she get shown or taught that this is how you're supposed to receive flowers well like, i don't around? think ever because she doesn't have her own vase no, but what i'm saying <laughs> her parents her dad would have given the vase to her mum that's maybe. why. That's what's happened. Well, well, maybe, but they're probably already together then, no? They had a maybe house. He... She grew up in a house of Vars. <laughs> She's like, yeah. dude. She slept in one. <laughs> you, you weren't allowed to run in that house because you might knock the Vars over. <laughs> Either that or the Vars that's from work was given to her by some other man who did bring a Vars and now she's comparing all men to that one. See, that guy will never be a gentleman ever again. He goes, I bought her flowers and she shit on yeah. me. Yeah, that's so sad. Like, like he went out of his way to buy her flowers, you know, from his heart. And then this is what she said. I sent one last just for fun, just for a quick laugh at the end. Uh, this one. You can get this question right, then you get ten thousand dollars right here in cash. Are you ready? They bring it right there. Yes, ten thousand dollars. I'm ready. My bet. So your mom got four kids: north, south, and east. What's the last one's name? Wait. No, it's your name, you. <laughs> it's You're your name. So damn stupid. Your mom yeah. has four kids: north, south, and east. What's the last one's name? Think. Think. Wait. I love that guy. It's not Wes. The answer is your name. I love that guy. My name is Wes. <gasps> what? My name is Wes. Your name's Wes? My name is Wes. Oh. Wait a <laughs> I don't believe you. Your name is not Wes. Your name is not Wes. What's my name? Wes. Come here, let me. What's my name? Wes. Let me get to the bottom. Your name's Wes? Let me get to the bottom. Your name? My name is Wes. My name is Wes, G. Appreciate you, though. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the chances of that? Was this real? Did Very he limited. actually take the money? Well, it looked like it did. I would. What are you looking at? I was trying to see the. <laughs> I would have asked for ID. I would have asked for ID. It's, 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 it's on pause. <laughs> I was trying to see the comments, but I couldn't see any. Oh, that was mad. I'm going to change my mind to The guy is, the my guy is, is based. I feel like those are made up. Yeah, it probably was staged. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It was but good. that was a good one. West. What are you looking at? All right. We all thought he was, we all thought he was an idiot. Yeah, were you? We were the we idiots. We were the idiots. Uh, thank you, guys, for an interesting conversation. You're welcome. Uh, that is a uh, that is another B side word episode done. Uh, for another week, I hope you guys have a good week. Adulting out there. Uh, see you. Oh, yeah. Bye. Ciao. Peace. Ciao. Arrivederci. It's West. It's West. We're gonna have to it watch be, another episode it be, of. It, it, it must be Kim Kardashian's son. Allison.